Good morning, everyone. So there's two chicks coming at you, or two chicks on LinkedIn coming at you once again. And I have a sneaking suspicion this is our last episode. So we are going to have to cook up some creativity to keep coming at you. Um, anyway, just by way of introduction, my name is Chantal Buerta. I'm a recruitment strategist and coach, and I'll let Stephanie introduce herself. Hi, and yes, I'm Stephanie, and I'm a creative designer. And the pretty pictures on social media, that's what I do. There you go. There you go. So I need to tell you again, in case you've never watched Two Chicks, um, we both use LinkedIn for our business. We are both passionate about LinkedIn. And as a recruitment coach, I also teach job seekers how to optimize LinkedIn. So we're not trainers or anything, but what we're doing is we're going through your profile and we're talking about the various elements in terms of maximizing and using LinkedIn to full potential. So Steph and I also met on LinkedIn. We've never even met in real life. She's in Pretoria and I'm in Cape Town. <laughs> so yeah, so that's us. So today, what are we talking about, Steph? Uh, we're looking at recommendations, both given and received. Awesome. So And it's so important in business. I can't I I can't reiterate enough. Um, giving and receiving recommendations really is just it literally gives you an opportunity to to brag. Absolutely, absolutely. And you know what? From a business perspective, it affirms that we are who we say we are. And I mean, I know you yes. and I both use social proof. We call it social proof when we snapshot a recommendation and use it in our posts. And no, it's not so much bragging, but it's validating that we are credible. I love that. Absolutely. And you know what? At the end of the day, it's if you're if you're repeating what your clients have said about you, is that really bragging? No, it's not. How can it be bragging? Because you weren't the one that says that says, I am so brilliant because <laughs> Mr. Client and Mrs. Client over there have said already how brilliant I am. And it's in public format. And that's what recommendations make so valuable is the fact that everybody and anybody can see it absolutely absolutely and you know what i like about it you speak about being in public format and i always show my candidate or my clients this when we go through the master class what's really nice is if you are a little cynical and you land on someone's profile and you think hmm, sounds too good to be true you can actually click on the person who recommended the person you can go and find their profile and send them a message and say, listen, I saw you recommended so, so and so. I have a few questions. Would you mind chatting to me? So there's that further. But you know what? Absolutely. And I have clients who have said, I don't mind speaking to anybody who's thinking about working with you. And that's the brilliance of building stellar relationships with your clients is yes there's the flip side of the coin is where you screw up and you didn't deliver on your promises that person is not going to give you a recommendation but that person is also going to be a little bit more uh not negative because that's really just too negative mm -hmm. they're going to be a little bit more um realistic in how they comment on your on 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 your posts and all that and that goes back again to where we chatted a couple of weeks ago about uh, content and commenting and um, interactions and that sort of stuff mm. so whilst our profiles only give the positive recommendations you know what if you receive a negative recommendation mm. you've always got the opportunity to fix it True. Before you uh, before you accept that negative recommendation, make an effort to fix it, yeah. right? Because at the end of the day, LinkedIn is a business profile, a, a business platform, yeah. and if we want to connect positive business person to business person, I want to know that your recommendations are a hundred percent correct. And if there were screw-ups, 
that you have been given the opportunity to fix it, just as I would want to have an opportunity to fix anything that I'd screwed up on as well. And that's just from a business perspective. And I'm going off on a tangent over here again. So please forgive me. <laughs> no, but I agree with you. You know, working as we do in the public domain, I'm so conscious of everything that I say online because so many people read it that I perhaps don't know about. So that's perhaps the flip side of, of recommendations. And it is, you know, you don't have to accept a recommendation, you don't have to publish a recommendation, but if you feel there's a dodgy, you can go and fix it, which is fantastic. And that's how we become better. We're all human after all, you know? So in an effort to become Absolutely. better people, better business people, that's what we're doing. So yeah, I just want to mention something quickly from- But you know what? It's not so much only about risk. Carry on. Yes, yes. <laughs> carry on. Carry on, Chantal. We've got a lag here between us. You carry on. <laughs> okay, so from a job search perspective, what I love about recommendations is, and, and this is something that people don't kind of think out of the box, because we've been conditioned that references are given by bosses. So we always think, oh, but my boss is not on LinkedIn, or oh, I can't get a recommendation on LinkedIn. Yes. Guys, what I love about LinkedIn is there's this cloud of people that you can ask for recommendations. And who better, if you've been in a leadership position, who better to speak to your leadership ability than one of your subordinates? So absolutely. To me, that is absolutely marvelous because it gives such a it gives a fuller picture of who you are in the job market when you've got a subordinate, a colleague, a boss, a client giving recommendations on you. So that's my two cents worth on how you optimize recommendations for job search. Absolutely. And you know what, Chantel, something very important as well while you were saying that is when you set out to on your self-employment journey, there's no one better to give you a recommendation as to your work ethic and your personality and all that than people you have worked with, your colleagues. Correct. So it's not necessarily your superiors yes. or your subordinates. It's also your colleagues. Absolutely. And I've had some really nice things said about me. By, by colleagues, but I've also had people, also had colleagues, colleagues, uh, previous colleagues. So yes, it's a little bit, <laughs> a little bit dodgy in, as far as that is concerned. But you know what? What I wanted to say just now, as well, when I interrupted myself because of this stupid lag we have between us, is it's important to give recommendations as well. If you go on someone's profile and you see that they've only received. Yes. How much of a reciprocal um, relationship are you going to have yes. if they've never given a recommendation? Because these two tabs on the recommendation, these received as well as given. Correct. And it's important for me to know that the person that I'm dealing with also sees the value in someone else. So whilst I like receiving it, I also want to know that the other person who I've worked with will find benefit in the relation in the in the recommendation that I would pass along or or write about them as well. Correct. So you know, agree. There's that yeah. there's that scratch my back and I scratch your sort of scenario. For sure. For sure. But you know what? You're so right, and it comes back to a almost like a, a philanthropic kind of personality. You know, I teach a lot of, you so what you read, what you put out there will come back to you. And, and this is something I teach in my master classes, that in, if you're looking for recommendation, go and give a couple first and, and see how that works. But I also want to just bring up a cautionary note on that subject. And I want to say, watch out, particularly in the job market, perhaps not so much in the business space, but in the job market, watch out for what I call reciprocal um, recommendations. So that's like when two colleagues get together and say, mm. I'll write you something nice if you write me something nice. So watch out if there's a date tie-in yes. for that sort yes. of thing. And, and just, just be, be, be cautious or be aware of that. Um, because we don't know what goes on behind the scenes, right? But yes, absolutely. Give as much as you receive. Absolutely support that. Yeah. 
hundred percent, hundred percent. And you mentioned something earlier as well that you don't have to accept the recommendation. Why would you not accept the recommendation if if you're not you know if you're not above board? So you know why why would you not? Why would you, Chantal, not accept the recommendation? For me, it comes back to ethics. And it comes back to what we discussed last week in terms of endorsements. There are some people, and it has actually happened to me once, which is why I speak from that perspective, who have never worked with me, who don't know me, and who think that they've got a right because we're connected to write me a recommendation. I can't accept that because I haven't made a difference in your life. And like I said, it's happened to me once. He sent me a recommendation, then he sent me a message to say, I've written you a recommendation. Would you mind writing one for me in return? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Sorry, who are you? What have we done together? <laughs> We've never no met. I didn't know him. He was a connection on LinkedIn, but I didn't know him. So for me, no thanks. <laughs> Okay, so, yeah. all right. Yeah. So, so while you have said that as well, and I'm just thinking back to something that I have received and what I've given as well, I may not have worked with someone, but if I find that what you give out on, on your feed is of value to me as a person, yeah. as well as a business person, yeah. I have no problem writing yeah. you a recommendation, even if it just says your advice and your value that you yes. add is absolutely immense. Yes. I can't wait to work with you, or I won't. I won't hesitate in recommending yes. that you work with her. You know, absolutely. even if it's not something that I personally would work with. Do you understand what I'm you. saying? So absolutely. I would still recommend someone that I haven't worked with. For sure, for sure. But then it goes back to that credibility loop. And you've been perfectly clear in your recommendation. We haven't worked together, but based on your content, I think you are a legend, you, you know, and I would recommend people based on what I see. So it's about that credibility loop. You know, everything on LinkedIn kind of works together. Your engagement, your connections, your recommendations, it all ties in. So I think that's acceptable. But yeah, guys, yes. if you haven't taken the message yet, go and give a few recommendations. Go and see what happens. Just go and spread the love. <laughs> and you'll be surprised. People love receiving recommendations, even if it is, even if it's just still a human being. And I actually think that you rock. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. What the hell not for? For oh, sure. So that's it from us today. Go and give recommendations. We'll chat to you soon. Take care. Bye.